Hi everybody, welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 video and this one is going to be 10 slightly more unusual tips for beginners that you may well not know about this game. So, let's dive in straight away. If you go to your quick play filter in the multiplayer, if you hit square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, you have access to the hardcore playlists. Um, hardcore um, is a version of the game where the HUD is very much restricted, so no minimap, uh, you don't know how much ammo you've got, all that sort of stuff. Um, also, it's much easier to kill enemies, hence it's much easier to be killed yourself, and friendly fire is on. So before we had um, realism, which they brought in in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, we used to have hardcore. So give it a go, you may well enjoy it, and then square or X to go back to it the other way. Now, next tip is um, you probably know about kill streaks, but did you know that you can have score streaks as well? Again, in previous Call of Duties, um, some uh, kill streaks were called in by the number of points you scored, and others at the time of kills. So, to do that, what you need to do is you need to change to the point man perk. It takes quite a while to unlock this one, but once you um, equip the point man perk, your kill streaks uh, are in terms of points, and this can be useful if you're very much into playing things like um, domination or hard point, and you spend most of your time capturing flags and defending flags and that sort of stuff, rather than killing people all the time. So it's definitely worth uh, looking at. Let me go back and change this loadout back to Ghost, which I think is probably the more useful one for me anyway um, how to use almost every kill streak in the game even as a beginner and you do that by having the care package as one of your kill streaks or one of your score streaks as we've just said so the care package when you call it in you basically have to throw a special smoke grenade down and it, and it wanders down so you've, it's important to do it away from where all the action is happening um, and then it will give you a random kill streak, all the way up to I've had all the way up to the advanced UAV. Um, I've never had the juggernaut out of a um, out of a um, out of a care package, but who knows? It may well be in there. You're most likely to get a personal radar, a UAV, a counter UAV, cluster strike. Um, you get quite a few Wilsons, you get quite a few sentry guns, it's probably like 1 in 10 chance for one of those, probably like um, 1 in 5 chance for one of these, and probably evens to get something like a UAV, a sentry gun, or, or one of these. But to get these babies, to get like the advanced UAV, the gunship, or support helicopter, it's probably something like 1 in 100, and probably like 1 in 90 for the chopper gunner. So chances are pretty rare, but I think it's a really fun kill streak to have, and it gives you a bit of variety and gives you practice in all the other um, all the other streaks. Now, another thing you could do is if you're actually not into kill streaks, you don't have to have kill streaks. You can swap your kill streaks for perks. So, what you do there, if you go into your loadout and you go down to the perk screen, you probably see uh, on my screen it says press square to activate the specialist, be X on Xbox, and this is now the specialist bonus scheme yes and what happens now is that um, when you kill two people instead of being given a kill streak you're now given another perk so two kills um, when I get to four kills I get another perk six kills I get another perk and these are all on top and then when you get to eight kills you then get all of the perks how cool is that so you become like this super soldier you also get some perks on your guns so things like um uh is it scout no recon is it so you can see people's name tags at a further distance and the fast hands or sleight of hand where you can change ammo quicker so that's pretty cool and, and what you can do is you, you choose which perks you want to have um for each uh each step up of the of the thing and I would probably say one thing you probably want to use if you are going to do this is um, you want to equip hardline because if you equip hardline as uh, your perk 2 and change your normal perk 2 
sorry, your first um, specialist bonus to Ghost or whatever you normally use, uh, you'll get them one kill earlier. So it'll only take seven kills to get up to that uh, super soldier status. So how cool is that? Let's change that back to Ghost um, and let's deactivate specialist. What else have we got? Oh, shoot down cruise missiles automatically. Now, here we go. If we go to our field upgrades, you may well have not had a go with the trophy system yet, but if you're into playing Domination or um, Hardpoint, um, any of the uh, objective-based modes, this little BB is fantastic. You may well know, or maybe you don't, it shoots down um, anything that's thrown near it. So it will shoot down grenades, it will shoot down rocket launchers, it will shoot down smoke grenades, uh, molotovs, anything that they try and throw at it, it will shoot it down. But if you're out in the open and some clever sod has thought, I'm got you know your typical one is say you're on trench playing hard point on Grasnerad and you know you're on the hard point think yeah we're in, got loads of points here you're all your teammates are going and then somebody goes ha 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 I'm going to call in a uh, cruise missile to kill you all this thing will shoot it down absolutely fantastic give it a go it's one of my favourite field upgrades to play with obviously it's not that useful when you're playing things like TDM or kill confirmed but for objective based game modes very very useful indeed while we're on the subject of field upgrades did you know you can take two field upgrades into the field yep once you've got this unlocked press uh, your left trigger button on xbox or playstation and now you can have two field upgrades now when i say you can take two field upgrades into into the battlefield what it means is once they've charged up you've then got a choice of either of these so it's not like you can deploy your trophy system and your cover at the same time it's one or the other so it will charge up and then you've got you've really got the choice of trophy system or cover depending on what you're doing the only thing to watch out for is that it will always charge up at the rate of the slowest item so if for example i equipped um stopping power rounds with the trophy system um, because stopping power charges up very slowly it would mean that my trophy system wasn't available as often as it would be as if I were to use it by myself and the other thing to remember as well is it's another thing to have to think about when you're in the middle of a gunfight so you know you've got to select your um, field upgrade and then which one you want so it could slow you down a little bit but you know see how it goes give it a go you may well like it a lot right, let me just get rid of it I don't like using it that much and uh, so next one saving your favorite loadouts into the armory now you may well have come across the armory before um, it's, where, it's where you'll find all the blueprints that you get from doing challenges and uh, you might have got them because you've got pre-order bonuses and stuff like that but you can also save your setups to the armory for access at a later date so let's go into the loadout screen and let's say I really liked this FAL setup I've got, this FAL setup here. I thought, oh yeah, you know, I, I really like this setup. Um, but I fancy trying something else with this setup. You know, or I want to try a different gun in this slot. Because, you know, we haven't got that many custom slots, have we, at the moment. And all you do is you just press your left trigger on PlayStation or Xbox. And then you can call it a name. So I could call this FAL. Uh, fave. There we go. We can save that. So now, what I can then do is I can then say, actually, I want to try this with, say, a mini reflex sight, and I want to change it to the granite tip, and I want to change it to the recon, um, all that sort of stuff. I want to take the laser off it, and I want to put on uh, ultralight barrel. So I've significantly changed the way that this gun is going to behave, um, and I give it a go. And I think actually, I don't. I'm not particularly fond of that. I want to go back to my, to my old setting. Then, if you go down into the armory, you'll see that there's my foul favourite there. You can't really do anything at this point. You, I mean, you can look at it to see, you know, what it's got on and how it looks. But then, if I go into edit loadouts, and I go down to this one, and I go into uh, the armory here. I've got my foul favourite, select that one, and we're back exactly how it was before. How cool is that? Nice and easy. Um, now, next tip, 
um, learning the maps. So you can always learn the maps by yourself. This applies to all of the maps apart from ground war. You can't play the ground war maps by yourself yet anyway. Um, but if you fancy learning the maps just by running around without having to worry about any other players, you can create a private match and go to local game and we could create a local game. So let's say we wanted to learn, um, I don't know, what map should we want to learn? Euphrates Bridge, that's a, I mean, it's a fairly simple one, but it's quite, a, <coughs> it's probably one of my favourite maps. Um, and then what you do is you go down to bot setup and you make sure there are no bots. And then, it, actually another thing you can do, actually if you change the game mode to say to hard point, you can learn where the hard points go to. If you set it to domination, you can learn it where, learn to, it where the, um, the domination flags are or headquarters where the headquarters change to all that sort of stuff um, and then you can go in and then you can have a run around and just learn the map now um, all you do is you then go back and start the match and, and you'll play now the th I just want to add one thing that what I'm going to do is I am going to add some bots to this one um, quite a few bots because when we're in so this now is a is a game where it's going to be me playing free-for-all with a load of easy bots um, but if, if you're learning the map, you know, going out without any bots, because the next um, tips I want to give you are about changing the order of score streaks. So let's dive in. Now, obviously, these tints and tips, they're, they're a little bit unusual, but you might find them, you might find them useful. And one of the problems that you'll come across is when you first start playing. So, yeah, this is even for more experienced players as well. You may well find that when you've earned your kill streaks. You think, oh, I have to call them in, in the order that I've uh, that, that I've got them on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to kill a few enemies, and then I'm going to show you how you can change the order that you use your kill streaks in. Right, here we go. Hopefully, we have to do this fairly quickly. Let's see what you've got. Where are they? So I've got some more ammunition. Right, where are you? Where are you lot? Come on, we throw my school streaks. Oh, what so as a team, if there were no enemies on here, I could learn this map fairly easily. But So I've got all my care, got all my, uh, got all my kill streaks now. As you can see, they're on the right-hand side of the screen, and we've got the uh, cruise missile, the care package, and and what normally used to happen in Call of Duty, you would go. Thank you very much. You would press up or down on the D-pad to choose them, but that doesn't do anything. But the way that you change the order of your kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2019 is you press and hold the right uh, part of the D-pad and watch. So I press and hold it, this wheel comes up, and then I can use my right stick to choose or cancel, if I cancel to the left, the one I want to use. So actually, I can say, well, actually, I want to get my personal radar up. Or actually, I want to call in my cruise missile. Now, final final tip is if you're coming from um, thing games like PUBG um, or you're, maybe you're new to Call of Duty you may not be aware of a, in fact I'm going to give you a bonus tip as well you may not be aware of a couple of things the first one is that you can shoot through walls in Modern Warfare now Depending on the gun you've got, and hence the ammunition, so how powerful it is, you can shoot through certain structures. So concrete walls you probably you won't be able to shoot through very well. But if somebody takes cover behind, say, uh, a poster or a wooden wall, by all means, have a go at shooting through it. Uh, we probably can't, probably can't shoot through that. But if somebody was taking cover in this bus, for example, 
could probably shoot through there and let's have a look where else it might be you'd probably be able to shoot through those bits as well and you'd be able to shoot you can definitely shoot through doors so there we go so just because someone goes behind cover like this still have a go at trying to shoot them because you never know you may well be able to finish them up especially if you're using fmg now nah, fmj sorry now final hint and tip vehicles blow up and you can kill people if they've taken cover behind vehicles so let's see if we can find an example of that here we go there we go that's the bonus tip right there we go so that's been <laughs> that's been 10 plus 1 bonus tips for Call of Duty Modern Warfare I hope they've been useful um, if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and I'll see you again soon <laughs>